Remember oh. Hacksaw Jim Duggan with his little piece of wood? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with Jeff Hardy doing the Swamp Tom Bomb <laughs> like, bang. <laughs> This is Thoughts with my friend Declan Rice. How you doing, mate? Really good, mate. How are you? I'm all right, mate. I'm all right. Good. Um, basically, I'm going to give you some subjects, and I just want to know your thoughts on them. No worries. So we're going to start with, uh, what's your thoughts on people that wear white socks with jeans? <laughs> it's unacceptable. It's terrible, isn't it? Yeah, it's horrendous. Um, especially if you're wearing, like, blue jeans with white socks as well. I hate it. You just, don't mean to be rude, just look at them and think, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying this in the nicest way possible, like, <laughs> what are you thinking putting on a pair of white socks? What are with? they thinking though? I don't know. You don't like it as well? No, I despise it. Really? Like, you just don't wear it. It's like, if you've got jeans on, you wear black socks. I know. I know, I agree. And you see, like, the white bits poking out as well, and you just, oh, oh yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> What are your thoughts on the mo five most important items in a fry-up? Bacon. Sausage. S yeah. Hash brown. Yes. I like beans. Yeah. Beans have to go in. Uh, I'm going to throw toast in as well, actually. I'm going to throw toast You're in. You're going to go toast yeah. as well? Yeah. It's, so, just, it's different to the, to the four. But it's, it's nice, you know, a bit, bit of butter on the toast. Yeah. Butter comes through as well, that's not one of the items. Yeah, so no, that's no, a, no, yeah. no, no. But yeah, no, that would probably be my favourite. Yeah? Bacon being my most favourite. Yeah, bacon's decent, isn't it? Yeah. Bacon sandwich, what sauce are you having? Brown sauce. Brown all sauce day. all day. Yeah. I think I pretty much have brown sauce on most breakfasts. Not your cereals, but... I was going to say, that <laughs> with, frost, for like, with Frosties ain't going down too well. <laughs> with scrambled egg, I'd probably have brown sauce. Yeah. I like my brown sauce. Beautiful. Yeah. What are your thoughts on the best defensive midfielder ever to play the game? Oh, such a hard question. See, my favourite when I was growing up, this might not be necessarily most people's favourites, was Makaluli. Legend. Some people might say different, but for me, probably one of the smallest players on the pitch, but probably the most strongest. And everything he'd done as a holding midfielder was just perfect. Breaking up the play, passing, defending duties. Yeah, I was actually uh, like on YouTube the other day, and like it popped up like Makalele, like best bits, like clicked on it again. You didn't realise how good he was. Oh, he's fantastic! Ridiculous. I'm a, I'm a Chelsea fan, so I've watched him growing up. Um, he was the best, but he's that good that they named the role, the role you play now, the Makaleli role. I know. It's funny you say that because people say that. Some people say that to me all the time, like you're playing in that Makaleli role. Yeah. Most like youngsters now probably coming up. It's crazy to think that they would have never watched like Makaleli no. play. But yeah, unbelievable player. Yeah. Who's better, Makaleli or Kante? But I would have to say Makaleli. Yeah. I would have to say Makaleli. See, Kante is playing in that more advanced role now. Yeah, yeah. Which I don't really see. The, no, do I? Um, I think he has to play in his best position. But yeah, I think Makaleli is probably for me. What are your thoughts on when you go in to buy coffee and the person behind the counter says, Do you want a muffin with that? Um, do you get offered a muffin? Every time I go in there, I say, Can I get a latte, please, or a cappuccino? I go, Do you want a muffin with that? No, I just want the coffee that I asked for. I've never been offered a muffin with my latte. Really? Yeah, because I've obviously got quite a long drive in in the mornings. Yeah. And I pretty much stop for a latte every morning. Right. And the oh. thing that annoys me most is that it takes 10 minutes to make the latte. Yeah, they do take their time, don't they? I know. And people pushing in, and I'm just stood there. And but I've never been offered a muffin. Really? Yeah. Oh, maybe they just look at me and say, oh, he's quite fat, he likes a muffin. <laughs> I do love muffins. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind if they offered me one. But no, I've never been offered a muffin with my life. No, because usually it's just there, like you pick it up, you pay for it first, and then you go and get your coffee. Is this just me then? Every time I go for a muffin, whether it be Starbucks. It's not a bit of an coffee? insult. Well, it, but it is now. <laughs> but I haven't asked you. I don't give it to everyone. No. Like, can I get a coffee? Can I have a drink? Like, want a muffin with that, mate? <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, I haven't. That's interesting. I'm going to take you down Cobham. I know you live around my yeah. way. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you in. Go on then. Yeah, I'm not gonna go with you and I'm gonna watch. And if they don't offer you a muffin, I'm gonna be fuming. <laughs> yeah, tell, tell me where to go and I'll go and I'll go and do it. What are your thoughts on one of your West Ham players making a WWF wrestler? Who would be the best? Andy Carroll. Andy Carroll. Yeah. Let me tell you why. Go on, yeah. Because we had a Christmas uh, fancy dress party and he turned up as The Undertaker. <laughs> yes. His hair was down, he had the cloak, dressed as black, had the hat, his eyes, he put the tints in. He looked like The Undertaker. Yeah. And I'm, yeah, I'm thinking, it's like if it was a tag team match, him and The Undertaker. That'd, that'd be, be brilliant, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think Andy Carroll. He's pretty hard as well, isn't he? Yeah, he's tough. He's, yeah, he's tough as anything. Yeah. I wouldn't want to play against him every week. No. Do you fancy a bit of WWF wrestling in the near future? Uh, no. Nah. As a kid, I loved it. Yeah. Loved watching it, yeah. The little action figures. Yeah. He used to have them jumping off the top rope, just like yeah. into each other. I did as well. Yeah, it was like Hacksaw Jim Duggan with his little piece of wood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with Jeff Hardy doing the Swamp Tom Bomb, <laughs> like, bang. <laughs> They were great, oh, it was great memories, but then you grow out of it, didn't you? <laughs> Thankfully, yes. Yeah. But, but when you guys used to chuck them off the top rope and they landed, you'd be buzzing, wouldn't you? I used to get a good buzz off, you know, like the rope around the outside and bringing spring, I'd like run it across, like back off it, come in, clothesline. <laughs> and chuck them both in the air. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. And then give them a little toy a belt. Go on, mate. <laughs> oh, Unbelievable. Yeah, the fake belts you used to be able to get as well oh, in the shops. Yeah. Detailed? Yeah, my favourite one was the, I think it was the WWE Championship. You used to be able to spin the middle of it and it had a W in it. Seriously? Yeah, you used to be able to spin it. It's, it's still going now, I don't know who holds it, but you used to be able to spin it. Oh, you'd wrap it around your waist, your brothers, me and my brothers used to fight for it. Yeah? Yeah, it was good. Well, then maybe we'll go for a coffee and a muffin and go back to yours and play WWE. Yeah, we'll yeah. set up a ring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are your thoughts on pineapple on a pizza? That is one of the things I hate most. Yes. That is unacceptable. It's not right, is it? I don't understand people who put pineapple on pizza. It's a fruit. I, I know, what, but the two tastes you get together, like a nice pizza, but then you get a bit of sweet as well with like a nice sweet bit of pineapple with pizza. You wouldn't put a mango on a pizza. Why pineapple? How has it found its way onto a pizza? It really upsets me, Dick. It upsets me too now thinking about it. What are your thoughts on heavy metal music? I've never listened to heavy metal in my life. You not? No. You like it? No, I do not. Nonsense. <laughs> I've never listened to it, but just heavy metal music just sounds like it wrecks your ears. And Rex says, as they're bouncing around doing figures of eight, they just they just shout. Even the, like thinking about it, like the concerts and that. How do people go to them? Seriously. And, like, what are you, what they're, they're, they're chucking stuff at each other. Mosh some, pit in. Yeah. It's just not good, is it? I mean, some of the lyrics, though, they're, they're, they're mad. Like, go, oh, my mum killed the dog that killed the cat. So, <laughs> what, do you, what do you think of that? <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's true, they're just shouting yeah. nonsense yeah. into the mic and people will get buzzing off it. Not right. No, I agree. But, <laughs> but anyway, it's been an absolute pleasure hearing your thoughts. You too, mate. Declan Rice, everyone. Thank you very much.